we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I have some parts uh, that need to be made. I have a, a vintage fishing pole that the handle um, needs replaced. And I believe it probably at one point had a wood handle. Um, however, the, the wood is either rotten away or over the course of time it's gone. And it's a vintage pole. It means something to me. It was probably made in the 40s. Uh, my neighbor gave it to me on my birthday. And I've always wanted to replace the handle. And the other day I was doing a little bit of YouTubing and I found a guy who made parts out of HDPE plastic. And on the bottom of stuff that you can find in the grocery store, stuff we throw away every day, you can find this number two recycle logo on the bottom of stuff. And it's stamped HDPE. The significance of HDPE is you can melt it down. It becomes kind of uh, not quite a liquid, but more of a tacky substance. You can press it together really hard, mold it, and uh, mill it down, or you can make a sheet of plastic out of it and cut parts out of that sheet. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. So we have some, we have some stuff. We have some uh, milk jugs here, or water jugs, and you can see on the side of a water jug, it is stamped number two HDPE. We have this pill bottle, which is empty, and it's also HDPE number two on the bottom, and we have some buckets. Your typical five gallon Lowe's and Home Depot buckets. If you look on the bottom, they also are HDPE. So they're all the same plastic and it can all be molded, and we're going to give it a shot and see what we can do today. So, because of um, the fact that I really have not messed with this type of plastics before and I'm just learning, um, I have a Teflon coated pan. And my understanding is if you fill this pan up, as soon as the HDPE cools off, it shrinks and will unstick to it. Um, and I have a toaster oven. It's an old toaster oven that's, that's not used anymore. And I've set the temperature of the toaster oven up to 350 degrees, which is why it's beeping at us, because it is now 350 degrees. And we're going to stick this in the toaster oven just as a test to see exactly what this material does when it gets hot. And then we'll play with it and we'll determine from there what we need to do to make this a workable project. Okay, so the bottle is in the oven and it's been in there for, I'd say, no more than three or four minutes. And you can already see that uh, it's starting to uh, melt and become pliable. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes and then we'll pull it out and we'll see what kind of texture it is. At this point, we've been about six minutes, and the bottle has uh, pretty much um, melted. Uh, I think this is about all it's going to be. Everything that I've read uh, pretty much says it doesn't really liquefy. It just gets extremely soft and pliable, and then you have to kind of mash it down. Uh, and then after you mash it down, it'll dry uh, into, or not really dry, but um, re-solidify into a, uh, a harder material. So we're going to pull this out and take a better look at it. Okay, so we'll shut the oven off here, and I think we have a gooey mess. Let's take a take a look. I'm going to take a screwdriver here. Again, I'm not going to use this. I'm just kind of learning how the material is. Oh yeah, it's very very soft. It it um it seems like it has the consistency of bubble gum, um, maybe uh maybe putty. Um, I think that was silly putty we had when we was kids and we were growing up. Um, that feels like exactly what the consistency is, a silly putty. And this is 350 degrees. It's going to be interesting to see if it comes off this no-stick pan. It looks like it's going to peel right off. Um, yeah, we'll see. This might, this might actually be what we need. If we can get this molded into something cylindrical, then we could run it on a lathe and, and lathe out our parts. It's um, very soft. In fact, when I squeezed it, it, um, it made a little bubble here. Um, it's, it's just like Play-Doh. I mean, it's, it's, um, you can hear them pop too. Um, Scylla putty again is, is about the best way I can explain this. Um, it's a, it's very much workable. I, I really think that this, this could be, um, molded into a part and, uh, laid back down. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see what we can do. Now that it's cooled down, um, I thought I just wanted to, wanted to make mention that this piece of plastic is incredibly, incredibly hard. Um, I, in, the, in that little last clip, when it hit the pan, you heard that it was starting to get harder. But now it's, 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 it's just 
super firm, almost almost like concrete. Um, this is definitely going to be fun stuff to work with. We'll see what we can do.